Hey, so imagine this. You open the fridge and it's running. Everything inside is freezing cold, perfectly chilled, but there's no sound. No humming, no buzzing, no vibrations, not even that low rumble from the motor we've been used to our whole lives. And get this, there's no gas moving inside, just metal and magnets. How could something like this get cold without any gas? How could the cooling we've been relying on for a hundred years just vanish and be replaced by something totally silent, super sleek, and completely magnetic? Could magnets actually replace Freon and all those gases that are heating up the planet? Is it possible that your next fridge could be solid all the way through without any pipes or compressors? And could this be the future of refrigeration that changes our lives forever? That's exactly what we're going to answer in today's episode. But first, if you dig this kind of content, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss what's next. The story begins. The way we cool things down, in our homes, in restaurants and hospitals, it hasn't really changed much in over a century. Every single one of those appliances, from refrigerators to air conditioners, works on the same basic idea. Compress a gas, move it around in a closed loop, let it absorb heat from one place, and then dump that heat somewhere else. It's a brilliant and simple idea, but it has one fatal flaw. The gases we've been using, especially hydrofluorocarbons, sure, they keep our food cold, but they're also warming up the planet. Just a tiny leak of these gases into the atmosphere has a global warming effect that's thousands of times more powerful than carbon dioxide. So while we were looking for cold, we were heating up the earth without even realizing it. All the efficiency tweaks we've made, they haven't changed the fundamentals. But what if we could get rid of those gases entirely? What if we could create cold without having to compress or heat up any gas at all. The new kind of cold is called calorific cooling. The solution isn't in liquids, it's in solid materials. No boiling, no evaporation, just solid matter that shifts its internal energy when exposed to a specific force. That force could be mechanical stress, which is called elasticalorifics, an electric field, which is called electrocalorifics, or a magnetic field, which is called magnetocalorifics, and that's what we're diving into right now. These systems all have one thing in common. When these materials are stretched, zapped, or magnetized, their atoms shift positions, energy moves, and heat flows. You get cooling without any gas, no compressors, no leaks, a totally silent technology. How do magnets cool things down? The whole idea seems kind of weird at first. How could a magnet make something cold? But it's all tied to how atoms behave. Take a metal like gadolinium, for example. When it's exposed to a magnetic field, it heats up. And when that field disappears, it cools down again. This process is called the magnetocalorific effect. It's not magic, it's physics. The atoms inside the material align with the magnetic field, becoming more ordered, and that releases heat. The second the field is gone, the atoms snap back into a random, disordered state, and they absorb heat from their surroundings. If you repeat this process over and over again, you can transfer heat just like a regular cooling cycle, but without any gas. The magnets pass over a magnetic material, it heats up and cools down, and fluids, like water, carry that heat away. The result? A silent, clean, and potentially way more efficient cooling device. The breakthrough at Ames Lab USA. In Iowa, a research team led by Julie Slaughter has built a fully functional magnetic cooling system. It's not just an experiment, it's a device that's almost ready to go head-to-head -head with traditional cooling systems and maybe even beat them in performance. The heart of the device is called an active magnetic regenerator. It's got nine beds filled with tiny particles of gadolinium, and above them, a massive disk of permanent magnets rotates. 
every time a magnet passes over a bed, the particles heat up. And as it moves away, they cool down. A cooling fluid, water with a corrosion inhibitor, flows between them, grabbing the heat and carrying it away. Just like that, you've got a complete cooling cycle without a compressor or freon. What's really cool is they've started using a new material, Laffy, lanthanum iron silicon. This gives them higher efficiency, less weight, and a lower cost. Their goal is to get the device's power up to one kilowatt, enough to cool a regular home. From the lab to the market. While America's still in the testing phase, companies in Europe are already selling actual products. Take Magnum in Germany, for example. They built a commercial cooling unit called the Polaris that's totally silent and uses magnetism. And it sells for around 7,000 bucks. It's not for your kitchen just yet, but it works and it's being used. And at the Chilventa trade show, a company called Magnoric displayed their magnetic refrigerators and they literally serve cold drinks to people from a working unit right there on the spot. Their plan isn't just small fridges, they're targeting supermarkets, hospitals, and even data centers. Places where reliable cooling is critical and energy costs are through the roof. They've already entered a pre-industrial phase for larger systems over six kilowatts. The challenges. But there are still some major hurdles to clear. They need super strong magnetic fields, more than one Tesla. And these magnets are expensive and in high demand for other industries like electric cars and wind turbines. It's also still tough to shrink the size and the cost enough for every home. Plus, their biggest competitor is Elasto Caloric, which uses stress instead of magnetism. It can be a little more efficient on paper, but the problem is durability. The constant stress wears out the materials over time. So, the big advantage of magnetic cooling is that it lasts longer. What's next? The path is clear. Magnetic cooling systems are steadily making the jump from research labs to real-world applications. The key to making the mainstream is going to be bringing down the cost and simplifying the design. If researchers can make the materials cheaper, especially the Lasafi alloy, it'll be a huge leap forward. The immediate future? Restaurants? Hospitals and data centers will start swapping out Freon for the silent power of magnetism. And after that, it's only a matter of time before it finds its way into our homes. Imagine a fridge or an AC unit with no sound, no leaks, and no negative impact on the planet. This isn't just an innovation. This is a total revolution.